Welcome to today's Daily Report Market Analysis videos with me, Richard Pro Market Analyst at Hantech on Wednesday the 17th of June. Interesting moves that we've seen in markets over the last 24 hours or so. We've, we've had that um, continued risk rally actually that um, we had in the wake of that move from the Federal Reserve to um, buy up uh, corporate debt. Um, that sort of saw sort of risk appetite jump back into equities. And we saw S&P 500 um, closing higher on on uh, on Monday and again higher yesterday. Interesting moves uh, in terms of how the fact that this is question marks surrounding this rally. Um, futures are a little bit higher today. Um, equities are still positive, but the risk positive angle is not really translating through. Um, we've seen the dollar, which is again sort of picked up a little bit today. It was up yesterday when risk was positive. That's strange. We've got the dollar positive again as markets are risk marginally risk positive today. So this is a, these are strange moves that we're seeing um, through the dollar. Treasury yields are, are basically flat, so not really doing a great deal. But is this sort of on the brink of a little bit of a corrective move would be the question. Interesting moves we're seeing through euro, sterling, and also the Aussie and Kiwi starting to fall over. So my chance today is uh, Aussie versus sterling. And there are signs that uh, perhaps that risk trade is not all it once was. So uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. But um, interesting developments that we have seen um, in the last uh, last 24 hours or so. So in terms of um, where we're looking at today, well, geopolitical tensions have, have risen. Um, you've got conflict potentially brewing between North and South Korea again, and also um, a bit of a border spat between China and India, which markets sort of could be focusing on. China has also um, instructed all schools in Beijing to shut. So the second wave issue is um, still potentially uh, one that could be dragging this risk sentiment back again. Um, so we have um, yeah, had a bit of a nod to that, I think, in the last, uh, last day or so. Now, uh, we've had the um, data out this morning uh, for UK inflation, and it came in um, softer than expected, uh, I would say. Softer than expected in that um, core inflation fell to 1.2% from one, um, one well, from 1.4, but 1.3 was expected. Um, headline inflation also um, sort of fell to 0.5%, although that was in line. Um, and this one here, look at this um, down the bottom, PPI input prices, year on year, down 10% in May. So yeah, some uh, some strong, um, well, some negative pricing pressures there, and it sort of weighed on sterling a little bit today, performance-wise. Now, in terms of this afternoon, we've got the uh, US building permits and housing starts. Uh, only real data that we've got to focus on today. Expected to bounce back quite sharply. Housing data uh, in the US has been positive in the last, uh, last for, for, certainly for the May data, and uh, expected to feed through into those uh, building permits and housing starts as well. We've also got the um, EIA oil inventories at uh, 3.30, Expected to see a drawdown of 0.2 million barrels. Now, it's sort of been fluctuating around in recent weeks after that massive inventory build over um, the uh, sort of March to uh, sort of mid-May area. Um, but expected to see a bit of a drawdown today, so that could help support oil prices on a near-term basis. Anyway, right, my chance of the day is Sterling Aussie. I talked about the pos prospect of a... Sterling, uh, uh, sorry, of a risk reversal. Um, and what we have seen uh, is that the Aussie is starting to be less strong against Sterling. Now, what we've got on it, sorry, just get rid of a couple of lines that aren't relevant anymore, um, is this broken downtrend. Obviously, that's been a big, deep downtrend for April through May, but the Aussie outperformance is beginning to sort of look a little bit lackluster now. One indicator I'm looking at here is the falling 21-day moving average, which has been an excellent gauge, actually, for Sterling Aussie from January, really. Um, rolling over has become a basis of resistance. It is still underneath that, so it is still a basis of resistance, 183.60. But um, the, the sort of emergence of positive candles in the last sort of week and a half um, are starting to make this uh, outlook a little bit more, or less negative, anyway. Um, the MACD line's pulling higher after a ball cross. That is positive. Stochastics off their lows. RSI 
certainly off its lows as well. RSI going above 50 would be a positive signal. That would be the one that you'd really be looking out for. But you need to see a move above 84.50 to really suggest that this is a recovery in process. That is a pivot line and uh, would be certainly something that we need to look out for. Um, but yeah, there is this early, early sign of um, maybe the Aussie outperformance not as it was previously. Um, momentum indicators on the hourly chart, RSI on the hourly, hasn't got below 30 for a couple of weeks now. A um, little bit more fluctuating uh, between uh, 30 and 70 really, uh, as the moves have been just a bit um, truncated, uh, higher and lower in recent uh, recent sessions but interesting that this is is this beginning to build support 180 uh, 181 45 181 basis of support now so um yeah it's, it's interesting interesting moments i think on sterling aussie which could sort of allude to a, a bit of a again a risk correction that you would imagine because the aussie would not do all that well i think in um in a risk reversal so with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website, sign up for our webinars, but also click to watch our Traded Talks videos to get some top trading ideas.